Yeah, I look kind of unprepared for this episode. I should probably explain. You see, I just came back from Hong Kong. It was an awesome trip. And even though I was pretty out of my comfort zone, I still had a lot of fun. I'll put together a video about my trip later. Well, then it's here. As fun as travel might be, it has one serious side effect. Jet lag. Now, when I'm a bit slow and draggy like this, I like to fix myself up a nice cup of coffee. But I really want to continue to sleep. So I thought, why not make cold brew coffee? It tastes wonderful, it's pretty easy to make, and it's just what this jet lag YouTuber needs. So, let's get... <laughs> started. Let's get started. Now grab yourself a large water pitcher and fill up with six to eight cups of cold water. Next, using a coffee grinder, Grind about one cup of coffee beans. Now you can use pre-ground for it, but you're gonna have some weak ass coffee. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want one. Anyway, to set the coffee grinder, you don't want it too fine, but you don't want it too coarse either. Medium ought to do it. Dump our coffee grounds into the water. Mix it up. Stick the lid on it. Let the mixture steep for 24 hours. In the meantime, Four hours has passed and our cold brew coffee is ready for filtering. Now pour everything from the pitcher into a separate bowl. Dump out the leftover coffee grounds and rinse the whole thing out. Pour the coffee back into our pitcher. Rinse this out. Using a fine mesh strainer, let's filter our coffee once more. Rinse this out again and pour the now clear filtered coffee back into our pitcher. Don't forget to put the lid. Now you can have your glass of cold brew by itself with your favorite coffee creamer or a nice dollop of sweetened condensed milk. Oh, sweet condensed milk is so bad for you. Is it? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun, and meaning it this time.